Are we rolling? Alright. Uh, mic check. Ah! Hi, it's Wince here to tell you about viruses. Now let's be honest, many of you are probably asking, what is a virus? Well, I'm here to answer that question for you. A computer virus is a link or download that is, wait. that is programmed to harm your computer, reformatting files, or the hard drive. You might be wondering, why do I care about your internet safety? Well, I'll tell you. I care about your internet safety because I don't want you or any of your friends to have any sort of problem like this. That's why I'm here to tell you so that you don't have any you know, problems like this. So, why should I care about this is what you're thinking now, huh? Well. You should care about this problem because I don't think you really want to have all your files deleted, stolen, or have to pay more than $500 in Bitcoin to get them back, do you? And now you're thinking, hey, where do all these viruses come from? How'd they get it in the first place, huh? Well, I'm, uh, I'll tell you, uh, viruses can come from uh, opening attachments or downloads from spoofed emails or like scary emails uh, because, you know, uh, they, they'll just have an emailing list and they just you know, send a bunch of emails to everyone, you know, they, anyone they want, they just send it out and everyone gets an email, you know, you get an email, you get an email, and you get a virus if you open it, so, uh, any email that you're concerned about or don't know, you know, if it's like, you don't know where it came from, then maybe don't open it or don't download whatever it's telling you, or your uncle from Nigeria is gonna give you 10 stocks of diamonds, you know, even if it's, it'll, you know, bump your Minecraft loot, no, 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 don't do that, because then you get virus. Another way is <clears throat> oh jeez. Another way is downloading software from malicious sites. Now these sites can be uh, can be anything from you know like free mod pack download to YouTube to MP4 and stuff like that. You don't want any of that. Another way is clicking on online ads. You know you see an ad for free Minecraft download Fortnite on the Wii. You click that ad and uh, you get rerouted about five or six times. Not an actual estimate, sorry. And there you go, you got five or six different viruses right down there on your computer, all attacking your computer and spreading to other computers if you're on a network. So, especially if you're at work or at school, uh, getting one virus can spread from your computer, just like, you know, uh, any, you know, symptoms like sickness can spread from one person to the next. So can a virus spreads from one computer to the next computer if it's on a, a grid like AW that runs with the GDSB, it can spread until almost everyone has a virus unless they have antivirus, which none of the GDSB computers have antivirus on. So uh, listen up, GDSB, it's for your own good. And the last way, the last known way that you could get viruses is from uh, clicking on social media links. So like, you know those whatever, waterpark.io or whatever. Click on that link, uh, you get rerouted just like you do with online ads, except it's just social media ads, and boom, people seem more relaxed with like Instagram ads and stuff. They're still the same thing. They're not like approved by Instagram and they don't know if there's a virus, so don't click on them. Okay, I had to look this one up because I didn't have it written down in my script. Oopsie doopsie. Now, some of the biggest events that have happened in terms of viruses and, you know, computer software destruction is uh, the I love you virus, which is an email that said I love you that was titled as a love poem to whoever it was being sent to. So anyone who clicked on this to open it got a big virus. <coughs> Woo. It was the most violent computer virus ever created and it was designed to wreak havoc on all computers that it attacked. It spread very quickly and it damaged 10% of the world's computers, influencing $10 billion of damage towards computers across the globe. So, uh, that's the email thing. Don't want to click on a bad email, so that's why. So, what do viruses do? You know, what am I, what, what's gonna happen if I do click on an email that says to click on this link because you get $10 billion from your Nigerian uncle that was an actual thing. Or what if it's your Nigerian uncle who wants to give you his collection of gold bars and needs your information for a wire transfer? You just never know. But as soon as you click on the link, you know, the story goes that you have a virus and you're kind of screwed. So viruses, I've already mentioned this in the intro, 
viruses can harm your computer, reformat your hard drive, uh, which is sort of insane that something, just the link that you've downloaded, can completely, like, wipe all your files, so all your pictures, all of your downloads, all of your games, so if you've been playing Minecraft for, like, 10 hours straight, and you, you know, you found diamonds in the first, like, 5 minutes of playing, you're screwed because all that work is gone. Less harmful ones may or may not significantly significantly disrupt your system's hardware by slowing down the computer and saps your computer's memory and it usually causes frequent crashes and you don't want any of that trust me i haven't had this before because i'm smart on the web just like any of you should be but you don't want that happening to your computer moving on ransomware what is it it is a basically a virus with a fancy name that uh, steals all your data and says you've been hacked and asks for a price to give it back and if you don't pay it back in a certain amount of time then the price goes up it's usually paid in Bitcoin and I saw one that was 0.05 Bitcoin which is still uh, like 475 bucks Canadian which is crazy one Bitcoin is like nine million dollars Canadian but there you have it you don't want to be paying any of that other forms of ransomware may make you try and think that there's something wrong with your computer and it definitely needs to be fixed right away or whatever and make you pay, pay a price to fix it but usually when you pay the price all your data is still gone and you're kind of screwed over anyway some of it in the wild may look like a warning from the FBI saying that You've been on like malicious websites. They shut your computer down due to illegal activities and things. <clears throat> That's obviously a complete lie. It's never from the FBI. It's always from some. Uh, usually, it's Russian. Actually, Russia has been convicted of a lot of ransomware crimes. Uh, it says you're convicted of a crime, and if you don't pay back a certain price, usually in Bitcoin, because that's universal, you know, internet money then the price goes up, or they just, you know, wipe your computer, and you're gonna get arrested by the FBI. I mean, people do believe that, and they do pay back a lot of money. Different sources advise you to either pay back the money so you get your stuff, or don't pay the ransom, because uh, it encourages the hackers, say, if they don't get money from you, they stop doing that, because they're like, oh, we're not making any money, so, you know, why are we doing this? Uh, be careful, there's different sites say different things, it's hard to say. You have my opinion there. And how to avoid it is just like any other way to avoid any viruses, to watch out for uh, suspicious emails and downloading malicious software. So that's that. I just want to thank you guys for watching. Um, <laughs> great transition, I know. Uh, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching and I don't want any of you to get viruses. So hopefully when you administer my information, in the real world that I've just given you, you won't get any viruses. Alright! Peace out! Bye! <laughs> that was the worst outro.